Crazy, never lost it. Now I pick her up in the Mercedes and I'm frosted. 23 and oh, we took the lead. Watch me talk shit. Everybody see me on my top dog shit. They were saying I was going crazy, never lost it. Now I pick her up in the I need better preamps. And welcome to the National Mutual Podcast with your host, Sasha, a.k.a. Tom DeLong, uh, he is back in Blink-182, and they are going on tour soon with Anawa. I, I know it's uh, out of pocket for me to give the emo news of the of the show, but that was something I read 10 it's minutes not. before I got here, so that's what it is. It really isn't. I mean, you know, 18-year-old, 18-year-old Justin, right, before Sasha has made the transformation, would have definitely delivered that news. Um, so it's it's on brand. It's just a different decade. So mm. here we are. Maybe like 14 year old and then like 15 yeah. through 15 on was like, I'm too fucking hardcore, bro. <laughs> but yeah. you know uh, what? before that, I'm there you with know, you. We was fucking with the used. We was fucking with the used. We was fucking with Hawthorne Heights high school era. Well, it's your boy, Christian, uh, AKA uh, goddamn Ninja Turtle, because I've been I've been slinging pizza. Uh, like what, you know what? I'll be specific. I'll be Raphael. Uh, I'm going to be realistic, right? I'm not a Leonardo. I don't have that much nobility in me. I have a bad temper. Um, so there we are. Raphael eating pizza, uh, fighting people, stabbing people with size. Why not? Raphael is the one who like has like the New York accent, right? Yeah, what are you doing? You can't do that to me, Leo. <laughs> like, yeah, Fucking yeah. Offensive. I love it. It is your Fuck boy, he- Thriller from the Three, aka Joey from the National Meat Treasure Podcast. Are we really not to be the nigga that splits hairs? But are we really gonna call Blink One Eighty Two emo? Is that what we're are we gonna you know we're we gonna do that? I mean, no, pop they're not. Punk, they're, emo, they're pop it's punk. all the same thing. I know somebody's gonna okay. get offended when I say that, but pop punk emo. I mean, I know I'm emo is offended. I mean, I say this as a person who was like a music snob in my early 20s and like mid to late teens. But uh, yeah, I mean, when you're 35, who cares? You're not even like young enough to listen to it. Anymore. Like if I'm caught listening to the used, well, niggas is looking at me wild. When we were young, I mean, when we were young, okay, Fest is back for another year. 2023 just listed their shit. So uh, you know what? We are old enough to be calling a shit because how many like fifteen year olds are like bumping Blink One Eighty Two like that? Are, do do we have an audience? There's there's a little bit mm-hmm. of fifteen year olds, but I know you know what's crazy. It's a three days grace. So, well, oh. here's the thing. Here's here's what I want to know. Are you so? It's it's called emo when we were listening to it, right? If you're still listening, if the band is still making music in their thirties, forties, fifties, even. Are they now alt rock? rock? Are they still are they still they're, an emo band now? That's a good question. N- they're definitely alt rock at this point. Um because you know Blink-182 is so mm, what's the word? Uh lame. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> they lame are. Part. They that's are. All. No, you're right. They're terrible. I do not like Blink-182. I've been to enough Brooklyn bars uh and seen enough shitty blink blink 182 covers to last a lifetime i don't need to hear any more i have seen it i have first off who gives a fuck that tom delong is back he's a nutcase (laughs) like why do we want him on stage literally they were making fun of him like two weeks ago like about how fucking nuts he is and now it's like oh thank god tom's back oh the band's back no one yeah wasn't he a flat earther was he a He's flat a flat earther, earther like tinfoil dude. Like, like he is like full of like alien conspiracies and nut shit. Not that I'm going to make fun of someone for having an alien conspiracy because even I got one. But, um, and we can get into that. I think that would be an interesting. I, I'm going to let this weed hit before I start getting into <laughs> alien shit. But uh, <laughs> uh, it's definitely like wants to talk about aliens but doesn't even believe dragons could have possibly existed at all like i'm still on that that, oh, that that's also speaking of which speaking of which on. just to de- just to derail to like reveal your finance situation uh to the pod are you okay because the, the hbo max was not letting me log in bro are you are, are things good at home <laughs> they are the good at home uh did it did it let you in i think i had to change the password uh somebody actually compromised my card yet uh today actually so oh, it really? might wow, be, gotta, yeah, yeah. I got I, I, it wasn't. It's not connected password. to anything. It's a, it's a, it's a different. Um, 
I use different cards for different uh, for different streaming services because of shit like that, uh, because right. they can be so easily compromised in my head. Uh, not in my head. It, it's happened multiple times. Yes. Uh, it's hap- So uh, now this is the second time in like four or five months. So I'm kind of concerned and I'm like, what the? F-? So Wait, d- define, yeah, it didn't define, let you in. Uh, was the HBO Max compromised or your card compromised? Let's get into that. My card. My card. What? Not what happened there? Because this is you're the second person to mention like identity theft to me in the last literally hour and a half. <laughs> so there was there was like a couple purchases that were made, uh, and I'm really on top of it. So I saw it like immediately and like contacted you know my card issuant, and uh, they flipped that money back. They were like, "Yeah, this ain't you." I was like, "Thank you, um, thank you for believing me, sir." Because that, that's that's a the, shitty. What was the purchase? Uh, it was for some other kind of crazy fake streaming service or some shit like that. It tried to say like it was Google, but it wasn't Google, um, which was kind of the confusing part because we knew that we don't have any like, um, recurring things from Google except for our phone plan. So we know exactly like where it's coming from. And yeah, they did some research and apparently some spoof. I don't know what the fuck, bro. Dude, why are you yeah, asking me this? Little... This is weird. This is this is long winded. Who cares? To, to, I just, my... Well, listen, people want me to review back. House of Dragons, but I couldn't do that because you know it's, I couldn't log in. It's so weird when you have somebody's password for like a for like a streaming service and you use it and like it doesn't let you log in. There's always like a, a weird thing where it's like. Well, yeah. should I ask them or like Do maybe are up? they watching it? Are they watching it right now? And that's why I can't. Am I going to interrupt? The, or like, so like, I remember I, 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 logged, I tried like three times. I tried like three times, but both were like two of the times were like at night. They were like in the middle of the evening. And I was like, all right, he's probably winding down watching. Maybe we can't watch it at the same time. I don't know. But today I was like, I tried to pop it on my phone at work at like 2 p.m. And I was like, hmm. Well, I know he works yeah. from home, and I'm also working from home, so maybe he's also watching it. So I'm like, you know what? Gonna bring it up with the pod because I have slacked on writing down topics this week. It's been a slow, slow week in my life. <laughs> it is, a, it is a slow week, but no, I got you. Um, you know, because that last episode, ooh, well, I didn't know you didn't catch it because I, I didn't know you didn't catch it because I'm actually kind of sad that you didn't. So I'm, I am gonna make sure you get that because, boy, do you want to watch that? Uh, if you haven't watched it yet, uh, House of Dragons is paying off. It is, uh, you know, what isn't paying off for me? Um, these these debts. No, um, uh, what isn't paying off for me is that Lord of the Rings show. I can't. I couldn't get into it. I still can't get into it. Like second, it's, three episodes, so slow. I mean, I really like it. It's it's like slow. It's 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 kind of the same pace as the Lord of the Rings movies. Like it's not like super. Like you can't watch it alongside. House of Dragons or Game of Thrones because that Game of you Thrones really is blood, blood, sex every other twelve minutes. Like you can't, like you can't watch it next side by side. You have to, and it, because they're like not the same universe, but obviously like that fantasy genre. You you mm-hmm. kind of like get used to like everything's oh, talking. Somebody gonna get their head sliced off right now? Like no, it's still kind mm-hmm. of for like teenagers. Like it's they're not gonna like do you like that. But there are two things I want to talk about that. Um, are dragon esque related? So they're okay. They're not dragon esque related, but one is Prince of Dragons on Netflix. They're getting a new season. Uh, that show oh, criminally underrated. Get out of here. So I might, I, might get, I might get another Netflix account for that one. And the, if you're not familiar with Prince of Dragons, but you're black, it's animated pretty close to the way that new shit Enter Galactic with Kid Cudi. Uh, that new that new movie Kid Cudi in the, the animated shit. The way that's animated, it's a little better. And let me tell you, that thing fucking sucked, dude. If you didn't watch did Enter Galactic, suck. don't watch it. Don't watch it. You no, are bugging. No. Maybe it it's because up- you're you're you hate Kid Cudi, but it, it is I definitely not Kid bad. Cudi. It's really good. You know I, what? I can I, get into you- I can get into my Kid Cudi hate as well as why I hated this movie. But I'll see. I'll hear why you liked it first. And you said you liked it too, I'll tell as well, you why. Joey. Right? Yeah. I'll tell you. I'll personally tell you why because I'm so. Obviously, if you look behind me, lots of comic book, superhero stuff. I love the superhero movie genre. My favorite thing. I love I love it in animation. I love it in movies. Everything. But we have gotten to a point where we need other media. So we need other representation of stories that doesn't surround itself around some kind of superhero act, right? We just, we just do. We need something that is maybe a not obviously intergalactic. It's not super grounded because there's, there's a lot of fantastic imagery, 
but it, it's a it's a love story. So I think that's fucking cool. Somebody calling you, Sasha? Who the fuck is calling you? Um, I'm on Do Not Disturb, but okay. Well, your your camera went out. Thank you. Um, what, so that it that's why I liked it so much because it it not only was it a, a really cool animation style the music was i don't really hit i don't, like i'm not like a uh fan. not that i'm saying that i like i don't really care like it's i don't like care about like it. yeah yeah yeah. It, it doesn't do anything from like kid cuddy was never somebody that i went like you know I, i'm gonna listen to this actively but you know it's been around and you know i've, I've had years so I've, I've heard kid cuddy multiple times so it, it didn't i didn't even make the correlation between that it was kid cuddy that was playing in the background it, I was really kind of taken away by the fact that we got to see um, black people straight up <laughs> being animated. No, I mean, okay. So uh, tell me if you've heard this before, and 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 this is it's a it's a very good tangent. I, I don't know, very good, but it's a good tangent. Um, so have you heard this theory about how? animation studios have always kind of dehumanized or kind of stripped away human qualities from black men. Like they, they, Uh, they instantly. Okay. So uh, like they transform them into other creatures, right? Like that, that was part of one of the, the big complaints with, um, with soul soul being such a beautiful representation of, of different skin tones and music and being from Queens and from that area of Queens. Like I was like super happy, but uh, what what happens is that there's a I guess the the character becomes disambiguated you know it it becomes a you know this little blue blob that everyone looks like and and there's there was uh, some not there was some detractors talking about it and it and I had never thought about it personally so uh, realizing that I'm watching this and that didn't happen number one you know they didn't turn into animals or turn into to something else besides, you know, their own human selves, even though that they got to indulge into these like beautiful, like, you know, s- scenescapes. So anyway, that's what was like the best for me. And the dialogue was pretty cool. I liked the The story was obviously it's a, it's a, it's, it's a romance. Like how many, how many like fucking animated films have you watched that were romances? Like you can watch it Disney your, movie your, ever. There's a no, romantic subplot in like every like, Disney movie bro, of all time. Oh, so you, you see, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold the fuck on. <laughs> are you telling me, are you telling me you've seen someone crack in Disney movies? Because that's what we saw. <laughs> Listen, all I'm saying is with a title Multiple like, people. In, with a title like Enter Galactic and a nigga behind the scenes or the, the nigga, the, the main character having an album called Man on the Moon, you would think it would be some kind of fantastic shit, but it was just a regular ass cliche romance cool that it was animated i guess cool that it was kid cuddy if you're into that sort of thing i am not uh but i mean i expected and like, even even like the opener for it like i know it opened with saying it was a love story so that's my bad for like even even thinking it's gonna be something bigger but you know the main character he's like a comic book art or he's a he's a new comic book artist he's a graffiti artist whose graffiti yeah. character gets a like gets like i guess found but which i don't even know how that works mm-hmm. like what are you you're doing graffiti and, and and you're doing crime and someone's like hey let me give you a job but, but apparently he's Basically. doing graffiti he's doing graffiti and people like his character he's like a a, a low budget banksy i guess and people want this character yeah. in comics so he gets a job at a, a big comic book company in the in the movie and i'm thinking that's going to be a huge yeah. part of the story and it's it's just not at all it's just a very cliche it's typical not a love part. story between him yeah, it's just some if it was like girl. thirty minutes, I would have been like, "Oh, this is cool." But because it was like the full hour and a half, I was like, "Oh, like this is what this is what that whole coming to." Mm. Right, whack. Uh, right. It may, I think it would. I think it did suffer. You're right. Maybe having a third act versus just being a short film. Um. So, like, I, I'll say that you know your your point is valid. I'm just gonna tell you though. I think it was cool. I think it deserves the 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 flowers that it should get. It is it is it's not on everybody's airwaves. It's not, you know, being written about, nothing like that. So the fact that three people somehow all watched it uh and are on the same podcast is pretty cool. So there you go. Yeah. I mean, you you suggested it and then Joey said it was cool. I love a good Joey cosign because this nigga don't watch shit. Um, and then I think like five or so people, like it was like on their stories that they were watching it. And I was like, all right, well, 
I got to give it a shot. Got to give it a roll around in the mud. And like I said, I was having fun for like the first 30 minutes. And then I was like, oh, this is this is it. <laughs> like very just it just it just the cl- it just never climaxed. It just oh, it just it just went up. It went up mm-hmm. and then it just beep, mm-hmm. went down. And that's <coughs> that's what I, <coughs> maybe the third act suffered because it shouldn't have existed. I think we should have just gotten to see the heartbreak. It, but I think, you know, I, I understand the writer wanting to give us a happy ending anyway. Um, it was good. I thought and it was wasn't really even great. Like good uh, romance. Like it was like, like, the, I mean, should, should I, I mean, it's not really a spoiler, but long story short, like something happens when these two people are talking. That's a very like cliche, cliche thing that happens in real life. They didn't even like handle it. Corny. And again, watching most things alongside House of Dragons uh, goes, you can't <laughs> like, like the love stories in that is like, oh, we're cousins and we're going to murder someone and, and, and send this person here so we can go there and da, 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 da. So a lot, so lot going on for me. So good. But, uh, yeah, I, need okay. to, I need that eighth episode of House I'll of Dragons. You, so we're gonna I'll give you one spoiler that, that isn't a spoiler. One spoiler that isn't a spoiler. Someone's head get none. chopped Mark. off. Someone heads get chopped off and it was awesome. That was it. That's that what I'm giving you. Boy. Definitely a spoiler. Do you think I just you like go into spoiler? television? Do I? There's do you think a I just human go being. Into any I'm not talking show. about a main character. At I'm not saying that it's this person or that person. I'm not even confirming. That, that's I'm still just a spoiler. saying most shows don't, don't have mm. decapitation in any episode. You know what I mean? I, I didn't go into full. If you told me, if you told me, hey, someone's head gets chopped off, and I'm like, whoa, you know I didn't good? see the season of Full House. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, fair, but uh, uh, you know who does look badass? Amond. Did you see the clips at all of how he looks like? I did not, dude. And I was thing too. Ass. I was, well, I was. Mm. It was very hard to like ask, not ask you for the password because like you gotta st- like if, with it. Game of Thrones, bro. You gotta stay off the internet if if you miss if you miss really an episode do. by like an hour, you might as well just you might as well just leave your social media because. I very much care about spoilers. I do not want to be spoiled. I, I love the <gasps> moment. You know what I get when you're watching that show? Because you don't get that with a lot oh, of television. You don't get it with a ton of it. Eamon looks cool as fuck. I'll just say that. Eye patches are in. We all need to go slick Rick style and start wearing <laughs> it, like 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 designed eye patches. Okay? Because Eamon has like some cool leather one with like, you know, apparently in the books, he has like a sapphire eye. Ooh. Uh Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So he like takes off the patch during battle. Can you? Can we talk? About, that's a fucked up thing to do. Can you like? You lost an eye, so you put a jewel in it to fuck with people when you're fighting them because you're such I mean, a good fighter. You want to beat them on every fucking level. That's aiming in the books. Not a spoiler. Just that's. I, I really tight. want because. I'm never gonna read any Game of Thrones material, but I really just want it animated or an, just 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 made like you mean completely played. accurate to the books. <laughs> no, because like I was like reading, okay. so I was like, I, I wanted to know the other day. I was like, why can't Tar- Tar- Targaryens control dragons? Because they never really like elaborate on that. So I googled it, and Reddit told me that uh, apparently like Targaryens are like part dragon in their DNA, and every so yeah. often they will have dr- like half dragon stillborns. Like just babies okay. born with like wings and like that are like mutated, and I, I mean, was like, I want to see like a, I want to see like an aborted dragon baby man. <laughs> like, that's, where's that's that? Where, HBO, I know you have the budget. Let's go. They do have the budget. Aren't how much? It, what is it like? A hundred and twenty million dollars per episode or something like this at this point. Like, like the amount of money they throw at this show is wild. But it get, uh, you know, I get it because it's either that or we get like Battlestar Galactica in in the nineties, and mm-hmm. like it's it's not fun. None of that is fun. Listen, Dude, people can was, pretend that they like that shit, but was there an H- is, has HBO missed? What's was, was an HBO show that like really missed? Vinyl. We we know the Vi- vinyl was hard. Vinyl was hard in my opinion, but vinyl was a big miss. Did HBO you guys watch that vinyl? I did not. What is this? Never even heard of it, so uh, it must have missed. Twenty sixteen yeah, so historical record drama. Record producer. Yeah. Uh, so it's a great. It's a great uh, premise and everything. The big miss was the licensing deals. So they actually had album covers and music being played, and it cost so fucking much, and there was not enough good, you know, press around it. 
it, they killed it after one season. It was it was a, a very much a timepiece. It's the seventies. He's a record exec. It's uh the guy who plays Richie Finestro, uh, from what's his name? I'm Bobby sorry, Italian Bobby dude. Cannavale. Yeah, he's got like really olive skin. He's always cool looking. He's like super fucking cool in this show. Like he's doing coats like off a of, like amazing tits. Like he is like <laughs> he has he has multiple residences where different women live at. Like he is he and he looks good the entire time. This is like a like a madman kind of like situation where you're like wow, this human is way too good looking. Like to and well, just doing whatever he wants. I can tell you why I like failed right now. like Blondie's Rice? What? Vinyl is an American period drama television series created by Mick Jagger. Who the fuck was tuning in for Mick Jagger TV? I don't... Who was Who was old, the guy who asked for that? Old white... Man. You don't like music? But, like, okay. The, well, it, it's not just... Who wants you know, Mick... Okay, clearly, it's not just old... No, The old white man did not come through for Mickey Boy because it clearly it uh, failed after a they season. They did not. Because, you know what it is? It's It's not about, like... Sure, old white men always fall into the category, but this is like New York City during like the seventies and the music scene, and him like you know finding all these different acts between like you know soul and R and B to like working with like early hip hop and like then working with Blondie like the next day, and then discovering the Ramones. So like it it, it follows against like this guy who's like 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 literally blowing it all on the line to get these amazing artists. And, you know, because I don't know, like, I think maybe we can all like s- agree in some way we're, we're music lovers. You know, we really I I enjoy seeing uh, kind of those beginnings, like how that shit came together. And it's a wonder it's a good story on how how they put it together. Obviously, some of it's dramatized. Uh, but the fact that, you know, they got some, you know, historical accuracies in there. Yeah, it, it costs a lot of fucking money just to get the licensing. Uh, everybody was being, I guess, pretty tough on it. So watch it. Well, fuck them and fuck Mick Jagger. <laughs> because uh, you know what I'm watching? American Gigolo. Have, oh, I talked about this last time. That shit was wild. He's I don't know. Did I talk about this last time? You did. I loved it. Okay. You know, I agree. Um, Wait, fuck fuck McJagger, Jagger, unless he wants to be on this podcast. I have no idea what I would ask him, but... <laughs> Extra fuck him. I would love for him to be asking questions. That's crazy. <laughs> so are you saying we would fuck him? No. no. Are we running a train on Mick Jagger? No. Well, I'll do it. He would He would turn the dust in the wake of all this brown penis. He's got big for lips, fame? though, so... Yo, he really does. Imagine he's just topping you off, Sasha, and then. Well, oh I, I oh my god! No, no, no. <laughs> no, if, that's where I, that's where I draw the line. If we were running a train on Mick Jagger, it would be to humiliate and put him through pain. Uh, we don't. What? We're not trying to get a sensual. A sensual. I'm stuff. trying to get a record deal. I don't know for what, bro, but I, I'm trying, trying to represent. To I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be A and R for somebody. I'm gonna work. I'm gonna like listen. <laughs> I don't have to fuck you right now. As long as you make say, me a man. I'll say this though. I'll say this though. He is seventy nine years old and he's just like working on a TV show. Like, what do you think we're gonna be doing at seventy fucking nine? I hope it's making a TV show. I hope I can get me that too. Mick Jagger stat. I hope I can make a failed TV show at seventy nine. I feel like I'm a pretty good success if I'm gonna make a failed HBO show at seventy nine years old. I feel like I'm doing pretty swell. So let's let's give yeah, it up for I Mickey think- Boy. No, fuck him. He's, fuck um, <laughs> he's a bad person. Why do you hate him? He's Is he a bad person? Explain to me. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. It, it, you know, drop, yeah, so drop some knowledge he, bombs. He just wrote this. He wrote this song called Brown Sugar, and it's just like a bunch of really racist lyrics. I will uh, huh. read them to you. And I know this because <laughs> I had to um, I had to perform this song I had no in, idea. A, in a recital. Um, <gasps> Holy shit. Did you, are you reading? It earlier? is pretty shitty. Gold Coast slave ship bound for cotton fields, sold in the market down in New Orleans. Sky Dog Slaver, no, he's doing all right. Hear him whip the women just around midnight. Brown sugar, how come you taste so good? Brown right, sugar, right. just like a young girl should. Yeah. Oh no. See, they made you sing this. They made yeah, you like, sing this? So no, no. Who's, what school made you sing this? 
we changed all the lyrics. Like she was like, okay, we're gonna do Brown Sugar because like, um, this this music store that I take lessons at, they do a, they they would do a recital every year before like COVID and shit, and um, you know, their people, the store managers, and a bunch of other teachers picked the songs. They told my teacher the song we were gonna do, and neither of us had heard it, so. She was like, okay, look it up. You know, next week we'll talk about it. And I read the lyrics and I was like, this is not going to work. And then so <laughs> we we rewrote like, like the whole song. <laughs> we were like, we're just going to use different lyrics. It's a clever way Why not to pay royalties. Pick a new song. <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't up to, it wasn't up to us. Um, there, there's, there's so many songs. There's better racist there was- songs. I feel like. <laughs> you know, oh, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. But you know what? I sung this. What's shit a, out of what's song? a better racist song? What's a better racist song? Let's, let's see. Uh, can we can we get? Mm. Yeah. What is it? I sung this shit out of Brown Sugar, song. and people still compliment me on my performance. Um, but I was love like, a watermelon. You, That's a good I was one. Like, you want me out here mm. saying just like a young girl should? Mm, 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 mm. Like misogynistic. Now I bet your mama was a tent show queen, and all her boyfriends were sweet sixteen. I'm no schoolboy, but I know what I like. You should have heard them just around midnight. Mind you, the people who are listening to this, right? Like these are this is mostly kids in this production. Like very much younger than me. Um so I'm singing to parents and young siblings. The thing is though, this is an old song. I would have paid a lot of money to see this. I'm just saying. Uh, I would have paid a ton of money to see you. It's on video somewhere. Um Castellano's house. Oh, we need this. Probably on YouTube. Uh, recital. I don't know. Maybe the year was probably 2019. But this is a song by the Rolling Stones. So this song came out um, in fucking I don't even know what year. Um, I mean, he's 145 16, years old. It came out in 69. And everybody, <sighs> these old white people, I'm singing this song and they're all just rocking with it. They know the words. They know they the are. lyrics. They're like, I'm like, I was telling people, oh, I'm singing <laughs> Brown Sugar. And they're like, oh, I know that song. I love that song. Um, so this is nothing new. About like white people just Staten like, Island. You know what you could have done? That, you could have done the Staten the... Island. This is like a just a a dad. Tell me rock. it's Jersey. That's even better. Oh well, one hundred percent Jersey. But this is a whole. This is a nation of people. You know the Rolling Stones. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And what's that song? I'm turning Japanese. Yes, I'm turning Japanese. I really think so. You could have done that one. That's a way cooler racist song. No, it's got that's it's, it's, little, it's actually a way better. The thing is, that is way so better. The, thing is, the songs have to uh, be a full band. You know. There needs to be a drummer, a guitarist, at least. Like, I, I believe the Vapors was a full band. <laughs> yeah, they got four members. Why do you um, know the name of that band? I'm I'm on a website that I want to one of those list of you, uh, t- Google, t- t- ten you catchy Google songs search? you didn't realize were racist. <laughs> oh wait, wait, wait! What are they? Hold what on, come on, bro. no, okay, listen, I, I don't care. Heard that most of these, uh, China Girl by David Bowie. I know that song. Another song I almost sang, and I was like, "Nah, I'm good, I'm good." But I, I didn't like—I didn't like the song. I didn't give a shit about it, it being racist. I didn't even get that far. And dude, I was—I was saying to somebody the other day, I was like, I- "I'm so sick of meeting people who want to be rappers and singers and like artists." And I'm like, "There's enough music. Like, just just stop." Especially now that like, did you see oh, that thing on TikTok God. a few months ago? I want no, to a few formally, months ago. Did, I want to formally say <laughs> I don't endorse anything this bitch has. Nigga. You, Nothing. No, you're, <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. You're, you're the cutoff, Joe. No, 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 nigga. I'm trying to I make <laughs> money from musicians, from other musicians. New niggas have to pay me for beats. I have to record people. This is an ecosystem, an industry. This nigga is the enemy Seriously, of our industry. Bro. If you the see enemy. him in the street. <laughs> you know what he is. I don't know. Don't do anything because he will beat the shit out of you. Don't do anything. Honestly, nah, just go unless it. unless you're a Flint, Michigan rapper, in which case I'm gonna just kill myself because y'all niggas, <laughs> yeah. y'all niggas drink lead water. I can't do nothing about you, <laughs> China girl. Ahab the Arab, Jesus Christ, <laughs> illegal <laughs> alien by Genesis, uh, Island Girl. Wait, that's a racist song. <laughs> <laughs> Probably, I'll be like Brown Sugar, talking about some white guy. Oh, flat, fuck, like, come on, sugar. you can't, Elton John, Raping. bro. Oh no! Yeah, Elton John. John was my dude growing up. Johnny, but it is it is what it is. I'll I'll forgive Elton John. This is yeah. Once. He gets a, he Same. gets he gets one time. He made music one with time. Doug. You know he he's, he's he did. <laughs> Yo, he's Elton John can say nigga. 
Soft egg. Right. Soft egg. <laughs> <laughs> He's the oh, pass. That's, a, that's a crazy cosign. Can you imagine? <laughs> that has to go, you imagine black, like, that has to go to the, through the black delegation. For, you know, I wanna, also, I want to chime in and say that. Crazy, that has to no, go dude, through the black delegation. Pass. I'm not going to cosign that. Either. No, it'll, it'll be cool because what's going to happen is I'm going to give Elton John his N word pass at a ceremony he pays for. Mm-hmm. We're going to run to the stadium. There's going to be seats. Uh, I get a, I get a cut. And then we're good. And we'll call that reparations. So what if he says it to to Mike Tyson? Whatever happens. I feel like I feel like whatever happens, happens. Mike Tyson Mike Tyson is probably surrounded by white people who say nigga. I feel like he does not okay. care. No, that's not true. No. Because he calls no. he says some real shit like the, he's like, they treat me like a oh my god, like the yeah. the okay, way well, he, all right, like, right, right. He calls the same Hulu, man. says that they treat him like a field slave. He said no. Hulu just yeah. sees him as another. Sasha, Sasha, whatever you're going to say, I know you're about to say that this is the same man who said or did something X, Y, Z and crazy when he was a very dis- different person. He's gone through a lot of shit and reformed. Yeah, he's got right? bipolar disorder. Like, this yeah, nigga said he, the same nigga who said, uh, I'll fuck you until you love me. Um, mm. F word. You know, he's a he's a very <laughs> different. He's very like obviously he's a different person. That was like fucking F word. He ago. did he's say that. Jail. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that I forgot about that. That she was wild. The nineties were just like unhinged. Like we were just <laughs> saying crazy shit. Yo, we were saying like really crazy high shit. schools. He said high that schools, at a press conference. Yes, he's yo, in front of the conference. world. Yes, he said yes, that on a Showtime special. It was like seven mics in his face. Yeah. Uh, and it was the most impactful shit because I remember hearing that and I was in school and then the next day, like seeing it on TV, I was like, like, what class? <laughs> what class were you in that you heard? I was in school. Not a class. <laughs> I, I said, I, I remember being that age, like you're really young and hearing it. And like, again, in school, people were just dropping those boys. Like, I mean, it was you know everywhere, crazy, bro. I feel like Mike Tyson was the change because I feel like. When did he say this? What was this, like, 93 or something? When he, he said that, made people, everyone go. Mm. Yeah, people weren't offended by that word before, unless you were no. gay. But outside of the gay community, nobody cared. And then as soon no. as he said it, they were like, mm, let's take that back. Let's let's re- let's review that one. And then after, like, 15 <laughs> years of litigation, now we can't say it anymore. So Mike Tyson started that movement. Uh, it would have gotten him. out of the lexicon if Mike Tyson didn't say it. <laughs> so did With Mike Tyson... And vengeance. So are we going to say that Mike Tyson is the reason for gay marriage? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. In, 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 in the worst pun of 2022, in a backdoor way, does is, is Mike Tyson... <laughs> Mike Tyson responsible. Responsible. Gay rights. Gay rights. He's a gay rights I, civil, I would say civil so. worker. Mm. You know, you know what's crazy? Oh, my is- God. Mike Tyson hey, everybody have this, my free weed. Oh. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm saying. He had this big like, like transformation, um, and it's very connected to him smoking weed. So I just want to say, so connected. Well. It's a, he. He says it a lot, and you know, I I've yet. I thought it was the shrooms and DMT that was for Mike. I thought that was. I thought he was always smoking weed, and then he got into psychedelics, and that's what what shifted him. Which, by the way, did help have him. you guys had like life altering experiences on psychedelics? I feel like I, I mean I might have yeah. the first time I did shrooms, but like like acid, like acid is just insane. I don't I don't get it. Like it was yeah. not life altering experience. It was just a it roller coaster. You just feel like an insane person for eight hours. <laughs> I I don't know about that. I'll tell you that I I took one tab of acid, and I was like mm, not feeling it. So I took two against uh, everybody's wishes. Uh, I had a fantastic time. Uh, I felt waves of emotion and heat and like physical, like like waves happening. And I was with somebody at the time and we ended up hooking up. And that shit was like, like I, I went from crying about my mom and somebody telling me that they feel her energy in the room. And then getting a blowjob like 30 minutes later. So uh, it was a really wild so night. This person gave you a, a blowjob really in front of your mom's energy. Sympathy? That's kind of <laughs> sympathy energy. Sympathy blowjob. I don't know, man. Uh, uh, Which, it's, by the uh, way, I mean, I've I've been I've been fucked up way on acid, get... uh, but you're you're just so not in the room when, when it's happening. Like it's you're it's you know what? Okay, so I have had you don't know when they like emotional experiences from shrooms. 
I've had transcendent, like emotional experiences from shrooms, but that's because I think I've just taken them at like different points in my life where I needed something. But with fucking acid, it's just like, I just feel like, like I'm on a roller coaster of colors and emotions for eight hours. And then the other side of it, I'm like, Ooh, that was, that was a lot. But I don't feel like a different person. I don't like, I feel like on the times I've did acid, I didn't come out the next day going like, I'm different. I'm just, I'm a person that's done acid now. Whereas shrooms, I mean, I moved here off of shrooms. <laughs> shrooms led me to Detroit. Crazy. Shroom. Wait, what? You drove all the way like high on shrooms or? Did I never no, tell you this it, story? It came to, okay, no. I don't think so. so. Oh. Oh man, maybe I won't say it on TikTok. So basically, um, oh cool, I can clip this, I guess. But uh, so basically, what happened was I was going through that breakup. You know, I was fucking depressed, and I also had lost my job. So in my head, I'm just like, I'm, 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 I'm on. The, you, you saw me. I was on the floor crying for fucking months. I just could not get out of my fucking head. So I was like, maybe I should try like micro dosing shrooms because I heard that's good for depression, right? A little micro dose because I had like a shitload in my house at the time. So I was like, what's a microdose? It's like two grams, right? No, it's like 0.2 grams. So I didn't know that. So I took two grams oh, of shrooms and fuck. I am tripping balls in my house and I'm way sadder. Like this is like, you ever be wow. sad and want to cry and then you cry a little bit, but there's still more in you? No, this was like uncomposed, insane scream crying. <laughs> like I could, <laughs> like, like it was just, it was coming from my toes. It was just, I was on, in a ball yeah. on my floor. You really and then are I had a feet a... person. <laughs> <laughs> Tear, Teartoes.com. <laughs> oh, but, um, yeah, so I had like an out-of-body experience, which by the way, like a standard dr- dose of shrooms is like three grams. So the fact that I was on two was like nutty, but I had an out-of-body experience and my out-of-body was like, nigga, you have mad credit cards, no job, nothing to do. It's snowing outside. Get yourself some sun, man. Go to Miami. So I was like, fuck it. So I dug my car out of out of the fucking like three feet of snow in on high as fuck, crying. <laughs> and uh eventually I was like, all right, I'm gonna drive when I sober up. So I sobered up and I just started driving to Miami. I just didn't really pack it. I packed like two pairs of shorts and I just started driving. Uh I stopped at my friend's house in South Carolina somewhere. Uh, and then I found that I knew some people in Miami, so hung out with them for a few days. And I, it was like December, but it was like 85 degrees. I mean, my hoochie daddies, as they call them nowadays, they didn't call them that yet at the time. But, um, you know, I'm outside and I'm like, yeah, you know what? I think it's fucking time I leave Pennsylvania. It's time I move to Miami. Uh, but then I get back, reality sets in, and I'm like, oh, I do not have Miami money. And I have not been paying my bills because I'm depressed and don't have a job. So, <laughs> oh, and I was denied unemployment because fuck wow. that last job. But anyways... Um, so I'm just living on DoorDash money and just whatever I had saved up. So then a friend of mine was like, Hey, come to Detroit for a summer and stay with me and save up some money. And I was like, okay. And that was like a two day decision. And then I moved in with her. Uh, we did not get along. She's a white woman. So, you know, that that should have been obvious, but, (laughs) but, um, then I moved into this place because it was the first place I found that was like a studio apartment that wasn't like shitty. And it was close to the job I got at the time. And that was a year and a half ago. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, shrooms led Holy me here. Shit. That is a that's a that's a hell of a trip. Uh, pun intended. There you go. There we go, guys. <laughs> Full circle. Most, um, most times I've done psychedelics, I've I've come out on the other side, like being like I'm different. Been a couple, like one or two times when I didn't. Um, but most times I'm like, whoa fucking profound you know what somebody said uh i heard somebody say that uh doing psychedelics is like when you're on psychedelics you're like man i got everything figured out and then when you're sober again you're like i don't remember what there was to figure out (laughs) (laughs) but i but i knew i had it i don't know i don't know what it was but i knew i had it but i have done some crying on shrooms bro can i I tell you the one time i was on shrooms oh so this was during that same depression when you were Um, in the house yes so i had a friend no, 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 this is a, a this is a different one. This is the same d- this is the same depression cycle I was in. I was I was okay. unemployed for a long time. <laughs> for like six months. But um uh I I again I had these shrooms, so I had a ton in the house at the time. 
So uh, a friend of mine was going through some shit in Rhode Island. So I just decided, fuck it, I'm going to drive through Rhode Island, hang out with my my friend over there, and I'll do shrooms with her. I don't know why I decided to do this, <laughs> but this is this is before the move shrooms. And we uh, we were just hanging out, eating pizza, watching her like roommate play video games, who was like actually her boyfriend, but it was it was a weird situation she was going through. Mm-hmm. But uh, we just did a full dose. And I'm just, we're just talking about the universe and this and that and capitalism. And, and the whole time I am holding back all the tears in the world. <laughs> like, I can't, like, I'm, like, I'm hold, hours because this time I'm in public, right? So I got to hold it back. So I'm yeah. sitting here talking about aliens and the government and also the bullshit for like six hours. And then I'm like, all right, uh, I'm, I'm going to drive home. And she's like, you are not driving home to fucking Rhode Island four hours away or five hours away in the state. I'm going to put you in a hotel. So she takes me to like the crappiest hotel in like America. I'm in there. Mm. The second the door closes, wailing. <laughs> <laughs> High out of my mind, weeping, watching Rick and Morty. Uh, this is very on brand for me. <laughs> the hard in, in some in some motel in Long Island that was like 40 bucks a night, or Rhode Island that was like 40 bucks a night. Uh, shit was crazy. I should probably t- stop telling y'all these gripping moments of my emotional life on this podcast. At least save it for th- the Patreon. Yeah, I've been I've been King Sexy Sosa for the last year and a half. Uh, I'm the hottest I've ever been. I'm I'm cocky as hell, and here I am talking about times I cried on drugs. Am I a little peep right now? Like, am I like what is happening? <laughs> yes, you are. Hey man, wait, maybe 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 there's maybe there is room in the world for more music because I gotta drop oh, an album oh, now. Oh now, I gotta now, drop an album. now, now, this now wants he to wants to be a little peep. Little peep. <laughs> of all not people, stand for this. You, we will not allow you, this. We will not. Of allow all this. people. Of all people you pick, Lil Peep. Dude, that little that face tattoo with Lisa Simpson was kind of hard, bro. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I'm not... You know what? Do what you gotta do. Tell your truth, okay? Because if we gotta hear it, we gotta hear it. Yeah, but... Uh... I wrote really sad boy shit, so I get it. Yeah. yeah. Bro, you know that, Joey. When you write yeah. sad boy shit, when you get in, like, a space... Bro, I remember like one time writing something and being so high out of my mind, but also so distraught, like fucking like hurt. And I'm screaming like in a in a studio by myself, you know, recording over and over and over and over that I get a fever after because I'm like so shut down. Like my body took it like a full on. I'm talking about terrible things, you know, like the worst things you can think about, the worst times you could be in. And you just want to literally get into that mindset where you want to die and your body says, oh, word. And it's like, shut down. Oh, bro, I was out for a week. I have never felt so. It was awesome, though. Like when you write sad boy yeah. shit and you get it out. Yeah. Woohoo! Yeah. Woo! That shit feels good. Say, and you know, I've, so- I've, mm. I've always Shit's been nothing. Nothing like if that. I wrote music, it, it wouldn't be sad boy shit. It'd probably be like Viking metal no. or some shit because a, a friend of mine, a friend of mine, we were talking it's about Viking intergalactic metal? and no, we were talking, I gotta tell you this story. Cause it's funny. Cause I just remembered it last night. I, um, so we were talking about intergalactic and I was talking about how I just didn't like the romance. Like it was cliche, whatever. And somehow we got into like stories we wrote when we were kids. And I remember just, and I just, I called back to the story I wrote when I was like 15, uh, I don't. It was, was it for. I don't think it was even for school. I think it was just like a extracurricular. I felt like writing. I used to like write short stories all the time as a kid, and I wrote this okay. one story about a guy who was at at war in some like far away galaxy, whatever, and he like commit war crimes because he'd rather go to jail than like be on the battlefield anymore. So like he was just so sick of being at war that he started like torturing people and like mm. beheading people and like you know just. This is fifteen year old me writing this. So, wow. <laughs> so That's if torture, I bro. were to, yeah, if I were to like write music, it would be some off the cuff bloody metal shit or something. Listen, I'm there too. That's the thing. It, it can be two sides of one coin at sometimes. Like y- you can be talking about some crazy shit. Yo, D- you listen to Dio. Dio's in pain. He's talking about the most metal shit you've ever heard in your entire life, and he's cool as hell. But it's it's painful he's not he's not coming like ozzy at like his best is not coming from a place of like you know oh i feel good about, uh, that's a terrible impression don't ever don't ever do that again christian <laughs> no, continue. Uh, 
Continue yeah, for the next like, 30 minutes. <laughs> 30 minutes in a bad <laughs> Ozzy Osbourne impression. Sharon. No, no, don't do it, Kirsten. That was terrible. Was, uh, Sharon. Like, the way he just, like... A- That'd be a great Halloween episode that. if we just all picked an impersonation and just did it for the full hour. <laughs> yeah, we should none do of that. us are good you know at what? <laughs> We should do it. Uh, I, I think we should, and we should draw a hat, uh, like you know, names out of a hat. Because uh, I think that, that you know what, set it in stone. I'm gonna mark it right here. <laughs> I'm gonna put another. The last episode before we, Halloween. The last episode before we draw for Halloween, whatever we, whatever day it is. Yeah. We are going to draw from a hat and I want engagement, ladies and gentlemen. I want, listen, listen, I'm looking at you right, right now, today, you see this clip and I marked it because now Sasha and Joey can't, can't deny it. I, I remember this time. <laughs> we are going to pick from a few like people out there and, and do an impression for at least 10 minutes and embarrass ourselves. And yes. I think that, also, that should be a while we're here. Uh, give us some ideas in the Discord. Uh, link in bio on our Instagram or TikTok. Yeah, yeah we gotta get, uh, yeah. We gotta get better. At National Meat Treasure on Instagram and TikTok. And uh, yeah, we, we're trying to figure out Discord. We're just trying to figure out internet money in general. I was like looking into like being a streamer today. Uh, I think I want to set aside some weekends for that. Not even really for money, but just because I want to get back into Why fucking not, right? video game culture, dude. I just want to like not feel, I want to play some video games and be in that culture and be a fucking dork, dude. I miss being a fucking dork like uh, fucking the new, like, simpler uh, times this, dude like fucking bleach like the new season of bleach is out and like dude they I have another new season yet. of bleach and like, i was i didn't really i got so here's here's my thing i was introduced to the bleach comic or manga whatever manga if you want to be manga. super nerdy about it but uh when it, when it came out in america like when i was like a, when i was like a teenager so i read like the first like five volumes and then like on tv i just like never caught it and sure. like now they're having a new season and I don't think they've had a new season in like five years and I'm sitting there just feeling bad. Like, damn, I've had like five years to catch up and I, I have not like there's I got all this muscle, but no bleach there. knowledge, but you know what? I have like, a, I need, you know, like Vinland saga. That's a good anime. <laughs> this nigga said, I got all this muscle, but no bleach knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> no bleach knowledge. Like as if they, they go hand in hand. I think as they do they now in the age of TikTok, hand. they do kind of go hand in hand. You know, because nah, I bro. think See, my like, muscles, gym bros part- have figured out that anime dudes are like the perfect bodies. Like when you see like, OK, yeah. if we're going to talk about bleach and we talk about uh, one of the, the, the captains of the uh, of the soul society, there's one dude and he's the head of head of all of them. And he's an older man. Like he just walks Did you, around didn't and you looks- just say you didn't see it. And now you're like, you're, you know, who the soul society is. Did you well, just no, say I, didn't, you didn't see the bleach? I said I didn't see the new season. No, 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 oh, no, no, no. Don't get that today. confused. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I didn't, see, I didn't see it. Like, I haven't seen it yet. But I, uh, I, I'm a, I was a deep, 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 deep bleach nerd. Um, it's kind of basic to say that, you know, but still, it, it was one of those, like, like when you were watching it live at the time, and that's what I was doing, like, I was having a great time. Um, because there's this one character and he's the captain of the captains and he looks like an old man. Like he just looks feeble and he's wearing these white robes and he looks cool, but you're like, what the fuck is he doing? He's walking around with a cane and then he gets into a fight and he just takes it off and he's got like 24 abdominal muscles that come out of nowhere. Steam is coming off of him and he's just like, I don't know if I can hold this form for long, but. I'll beat you before, like some shit like that. Like you're just like, gosh, <laughs> damn, dude. Who I, I wrote this? All, all my knowledge of this? gym to anime. I remember there was a TikTok like years ago when I first got on TikTok where this like there was like this white baseball bro and he was like bro what the fuck like when i was growing up the only way you got into the gym was through fucking sports football basketball now every time i step into a gym there's like six fucking naruto shirts i don't know what the fuck is going on what the hell is this shit and then like his comments like blew the fuck up of like and then he like made another tiktok he's like all right take it back i I see the gokus i see the abs i I see how you guys got here okay it was different in my pipeline but i understand now (laughs) bro like if you not watching anime for 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 those kind of beefed up one punch man one punch man is is that like you just see a dude doing a hundred squats a hundred push-ups a hundred something like every day and he becomes a superhero like there's a reason there's a reason we watch this because it is cool anime be like like i gotta find this old man because i just found him and 
it's the funniest shit in the world when you see him because like you're just like oh it's like this like they play this whole feeble man like thing and then he just shows up like more ripped than everyone else don't forget Uh, the goat master roshi Master Roshi, Roshi? when he did that, oh, that was so cool. That was so cool. Yeah, you're just like completely like blew out of your mind. I love when they like introduced muscles to to the Dragon Ball world because first it was Dragon Ball and every the the animation was like rounder and like more like childish, and then like as they got older, they were like let's let's put some biceps on this guy, (laughs) and like and then Dragon Ball Z came and everyone had a twelve pack for no reason, including Gohan at like five years old. (laughs) <laughs> no it, it, that's Fuck the me. best part about it. it it's the fantasy of of like seeing humans at peak physical like uh like you know that physical Condi- nature where they're able condition that they can do like these otherworldly moves like moving faster than the eye can see but also being extremely devastating like that's part of the action and that's why like you know you can't sleep on that shit and i get why the gym bros are, are and and tiktok has kind of merged the anime experience and i'm i'm here for it because you know what i like the fact that there's more anime nerds because back in back in back in my day when i was when i was like collecting manga like in crates at like comic con before it, it is what it is uh today i'm not going to curmudgeon anybody's bullshit but i'm just saying before it was a lot more underground right they when they first got to jacob jab center it was not like empty but it wasn't like how it is today like you can't even get in like so there was an anime con that used to be on the bottom level and i would trade like manga or like get tapes or whatever you know back in the day and the worst part of it all was the weebs the weebs were terrible. The pillow like like dudes, the 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 like dudes who who definitely have a sock or something like that that they come my, into my kin, my people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just dis- I have being, you're being really racist right now, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> these are my these are my sons and daughters in my community. Okay, tips the fedora I'm, like <laughs> milady. Thank you. Dude, but can I, can I say though too? Like I remember, I remember I heard so uh, this new anime just came out, Chainsaw Man, and mm-hmm. I've been hearing about this manga for years, and I just never sat down and fucking like, like fucking read it. And like, you could read anime, on, you could read manga online for free now too. So it's like I just feel like, damn, I'm not like dorky enough. I'm not claiming my dorkiest destiny that I, I truly should be. So I need to like Twitch stream or like just dedicate a few hours every week to just. Nerding the fuck out and fucking getting my knowledge back. I'm here for it. Go for it. I need you to need you to dive into your deepest nerdy self because that's that's who you are inside. You have to connect with that inner child. Uh, could, I, oh, nerd you, isn't a bad thing. You could you could stream you watching anime. Oh, you could. You might, you, you might get uh, at least the reactions. Stuff. I feel like I've seen people do it. I've seen people stream anime. I don't There's know if it, like, again you way. might. It's probably, probably a way, but like, yeah, it's just like, 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 and I remember like, uh, so, you know, on TikTok, especially in like the black TikTok community, there's all this like battle of the sexes conversations and, you know, the, the, the standard dumb Twitter conversations of like, who gets in the back seat, your mother or your girl and dumb shit like that. Like, all those super unproductive conversations. And like, I have, I have found a cure for it through my nerdiness because I sat and watched some dude on fucking TikTok live play Zelda for like an hour. And now none of my feed is that garbage, unless it's like somebody I'm following. But like other than that, like I don't right. see any extra shit. Like and now yeah. all every live is like a retro Nintendo game somebody playing. I watched somebody play Super Mario 64 today for like 45 minutes. I was at work. I, I posted my phone up and I'm on my laptop and I'm just like, this is nice. And he had he had some great commentary. Uh, I think it was I can't remember the guy's name. He's probably white though, so it's cool. I don't, I don't shout him out. But um, yeah, uh, just. <laughs> Getting your, also, I didn't know you could mod Mario games. I'm ju- I'm new to this oh, yeah. now. This is something you can I mod know. anything. That's that sounds. Fun. You can mod anything. That's the point. Yeah, of, people like, getting into a, a lot- PC. Yeah, you can like mod like like old school Mario, like Mario, mm-hmm. like Nintendo, and then yeah, fucking yeah. like all kinds people, of speed people make like these show them. super hard levels. Oh, yep. I remember. Awesome. You know what? You know what fucked me up too. I remember I had an ex. Was it her or was it a different girl? No, I think it was an ex and she was terrible, but 
I remember she like tried to put me on like just watching gameplay and I just like never did it. Like just like watching, I think she, I think her shit was like Resident Evil or something. And I was like, oh, I don't okay. want to sit and like, watch. I, I felt like I was being a loser if I like sat around and, you know, cause you got to make money in capitalism and monetize every moment you're living. So I was like, nah, I'm just going to like, if I have free time, I'm just going to get overtime. We're going to like go on finance YouTube. But like, you know what? As terrible as the next as she was, like, I got to admit she was right on that one. She was right on that one because watching motherfuckers play video games is soothing. As a motherfucker. It is soothing. Uh, Especially say, some old school shit that you weren't good at. Like, watching people, like, play, uh, like... Please, Super Mario. Yeah, I was terrible at Super Mario. Am I the only person? Because I was ass. I got, like, the I'm four honestly, levels. I'm, I'm, I'm not good at video, video games, games, period. Same. I'm not good at that, but I just enjoy it. I'm just... So I, That's why like, I like a good times that RPG. Like, beat an RPG. When I beat an RPG and got, like, 60% of the game, I'm like, damn, I really... I really, I really just winged it <laughs> for this whole you deal. You want to hear some shit? I spent 265 hours playing Witcher 3. Um, I was I was unemployed, obviously. That sounds like a lot. I was depressed. I lived in my little cave. Uh, I was so sad and just like, I eh, can't get work, can't, can't do anything. Everything sucks. Why do I live? And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to spend 10 hours figuring out how to get the ultimate bear suit. Like, you know, like I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm playing Gwent for at least eight hours. If you don't know how nerdy that is, God bless you because that is an you know that's down bad, bro. I, that's down I bad. Playing Gwent because for like a like day's I work. You, <laughs> I, c- I commend you because I literally own The Witcher Three and I've maybe only played it for like two hours, oh, and so I know good. it's a good game. Dude, can, you tell, me, can I tell you? I, I bought The Witcher Three a few years ago, and like I said, I just I haven't had time to pick it up. But like I remember when I bought it and like posted Everybody that I bought switch. it, bro. People were congratulating me like I just had a baby, bro. Like people were like, "Welcome to the greatest yeah. gaming experience ever." Having your no, life. no, 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 no. no. <laughs> they, there isn't anything that matches up to that experience except for maybe the first time you ever play Final Fantasy VII, right? But you've got to realize now you have the the kind of graphics and imagery and and storytelling that it's like it, it's it's beyond the generation. Like honestly, honest, like like where the way when it's made and where what it's made for, it's so rich and it's such a fucking fun game because it's not just about like if you're a story person like like me, I love story, I'm driven by it. But if you're a person who just likes action, the slashing, the fun, if you're a person that likes grinding, it's got like everything for like for any anybody that that commits to playing it will have a. F- like a fantastic time because you'll be you'll be deep into youtube videos be like who the fuck is who the fuck is yennefer why why does she smell like lilac and gooseberry what the fuck is a gooseberry (laughs) bro like i was in i was in i was like what the fuck who the fuck is a like what like i'm trying to figure out what's a nymph and what's a wood what's a wood nymph or or a flower nymph I, i don't know man i don't know any of them they're like nature different ones and 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 my man Geralt. He fucks. He fucks. <laughs> he fucks. That's the only big, thing. He's a big that is, That's the only he's, thing that's exciting fucks. about cold weather is that like you could just really stay inside and play video games and just like yeah. not feel bad about it. And speaking of, God of War is coming out again. The hot, God of War bro. Ragnarok. No, 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 no. You, can't, Rock is coming out? you can't get off Geralt. You can't get off Geralt. You got to give Geralt his flowers because Geralt of Rivia, uh, in in the Netflix show is Henry Cavill. First off, okay. Uh, oh yeah, the prettiest you, guy alive. If you if you Which, start to way, jerk off just... like during the hot tub scene, you're excused. You're not gay. You're just you're just experimenting. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Like it, it and there's there's definitely times in a video game where you go, "Wow, Geralt," and he's like, I don't know if you're deep into nerdum. Uh, do you you guys like Metal Gear Solid? Have you, I'm sure Sasha, you played it at one point. Oh yes, Metal Gear <laughs> David Solid. David Hater's sick. David Hater's voice is so soothing to me, and it Geralt has that same tone and 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 uh, uh, cadence, and it's like like oh my god, why do like I'm just gonna swing my sword around just to hear him go ugh, ugh, ugh. like it's just <laughs> so amazing. I want this. No, can, I, can I say this soothing though? Sounds. Listen. I don't support the white man, but there was a time period, bro, where I was like, like if you didn't say uh, Henry Cavill was sexy, I, I had to assume you were mentally ill. Like that is you the most to. beautiful white man living. My, maybe even most beautiful man. Maybe even most oh beautiful God. man. He's literally Superman. I, I, He's literally if Superman. I was gay, 
the I might, real I might kill Idris Elba to have sex with Henry Cavill. Because oh Henry God. Cavill, like, like Stop. was that Shin made in a lab? He plays Ugh. Superman and looks like Superman. He literally he looks, looks like Superman. He he literally is I, Superman. I remember the first Let's time I saw him, I was like, is weird. This is, it's like, ew. Like, why do you exist? Like, you're gross. Like, could you imagine just like hanging out with Henry Cavill, like solo, just chilling? Like, you know, you're just chopping wood and, 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 and making lunch. And then you go into a Walmart, <laughs> you throw up. <laughs> just just had a nerve. <laughs> <laughs> just looking at normal people again, you'd be like, oh my God, am I on a different planet? Like, ima- like, just imagine, like, you and Henry Cavill having, like, a man's lunch. Like, a real- like you're chopping wood, you're, 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 cooking, you're cooking a boar over Split the fire pea that soup. you just killed. Split pea soup. That's what I feel like is a manly meal, okay? Split pea <laughs> soup. You, you, like, with ham, like, chunks of ham. Like, you both just enjoy it in front of each other. You just go, mmm. Like, this has the perfect amount of salt. Yeah, just, I love a good split pea. In some muddy red wing boots, like... <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> We have just created a. We, we're definitely into a kink at this point. Somebody's getting their lumberjack kink. Uh, yeah, you both you know just smell like smoke. Oh God, and leather, like you know, old leather, tanned. Mm. Exactly. And then after that, you go to Burger Books. King. Like you would, you would kill yourself. Oh my God. Like, yeah. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Can we rank the saddest experience of 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 fast food? I'm gonna vote that Burger King's at the bottom level because I've lived next to a Burger King multiple times in my life, and the people that frequent, or you know, there's always hanger ongers for restaurants. The people who stay there are always the strangest and and really grossest. Uh, I think Burger King's uh, at the bottom. That's how I'm going to end the episode, you know? Wow. Nah, I'm going to have to say Taco Bell because Taco Bell, no matter what state you go to, is a place where dirty teenagers hang out. The parking lot of a Taco Bell is a hotbed for drug abuse. (laughs) That's fine. I'd rather drug abuse than seeing somebody who shouldn't have facial hair have facial hair, but not like healthy facial hair. Like coming out of like the pocket out of your neck. Like just like oh, no. like out like do something about it. Like it's okay. Like just trim it. It's okay. Stop it. And they have like mayonnaise dripping off of their face. It's, it's no, a sad it. sight, bro. Stop. It's a sad sight. Stop. I've seen it at multiple it. times. Like I, I'll go like and I've called. Uh, so if you live next to a, a fast food restaurant, you'll 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 learn to hate the restaurant, right? Um, but Burger King, it was it was way more heinous. Uh, shout out to the one on Astoria Boulevard. Uh, 91st Street or something? Free promo for you, I'm sure. Um, that shit used to blow stacks of burger exhaust. That shit was disgusting. Like, 1230, you walk out, you're like, what the fuck? Like, just poisonous burger gas all day. Just, ugh. Oh, you know what's actually funny? The person, so I, you just <laughs> blew a memory back in my brain. The person you just described, I remember... Uh, was a manager of a Burger King that I was hanging out in the parking lot with a friend skateboarding, and my one of my friends tried to fight this Burger King manager because he was like, "Get off I the property!" Too. And he's like, "You're," a, he's like, "You manage a Burger King, bitch! Shut the fuck up and get back in the store." <laughs> <laughs> and that same guy is on heroin now. So I mean, maybe Burger King is bottom of the list. You are, you might have been right with that one. Bing. I'm sorry, Burger King. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta improve your image. I don't know what you gotta do to attract sexier people, uh, but definitely McDonald's is doing a better job. Uh, definitely Wendy's is doing a better job. I think well, Wendy's is welcoming uh, everyone in in, a, in an inclusive way. Uh, it's my favorite Those fast Wendy's food fries, restaurant. They are, the, men, the Wendy's fries oh, scream so middle good. class. Oh God, it's so good. Oh God, that strawberry frosty. Hold on, strawberry frosty. I like the, the red onions. onions. They, they're the, they're the <gasps> only people who have red onions in the burger. They really do. And this the, listen, the Dave single is is God's gift. Like seriously, just a buttery brioche bread with one <laughs> bad thing. Jeez. I like a good chicken Let sandwich, sandwich from Wendy's. Ooh, yo, chicken sandwiches Spicy are banging. Asiago chicken sandwich. Yeah, I'm with it. I'm with it. You know what? I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it for the last moment, and I'm gonna. Uh, I'm sorry to to the LB, LGBTQ Q plus I A community. Yeah. I really do I love Chick Fil A. I'm a weak human Same. being. I'm Same. so I'm sorry. sorry. I'm so sorry. But have you tasted mac and cheese that tastes just as good as that for no reason? It doesn't make sense. It. I'm sorry. I'm gonna stop. 
<laughs> it's too much. It's too much. It breaks my heart. Like the fact that those waffle fries are amazing, that the chicken's amazing. I didn't want to like you, but I did. And I'm sorry. It's like, it's an abusive, abusive relationship. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I've always thought Chick fil A was overrated, and I will continue <gasps> to do so. The only thing is, all right, the only thing I will give Chick-fil-A is those, uh, like, grilled chicken nuggets as a person who needs their protein all the time. It's just straight-up chicken, and it's juicy somehow. No fat. Can I get get something from Joey? Uh, Can you call it gas again? Because I was re-listening to our old episode, and hearing you call apple juice gas was the literally the fucking highlight of my day. Uh, Out of a shitty day in the world, thank you. (laughs) The apple, apple, cider, like, <laughs> apple cider is really gas. Like I just had this Hudson uh, North toasted pumpkin apple cider. This shit was fucking diesel, bro. It was fucking diesel. <laughs> it was fire. <laughs> I love Maybe I'll so have to get a, a cider beer this for this headache. Oh, we gotta so mark that again. Coming. It is diesel. Diesel, oh my goodness. Uh that is the best. That is the bee's knees. I'm just gonna say, you know what? Uh Chick-fil-A, I'm sorry. You got you got the free promo. That that mac and cheese is banging. Uh your service is actually really good. I don't understand. I don't even know it. where they had mac and cheese. Oh my god, it's They're, so godly, dude. Mac and cheese bites, right? Is that what it is? No, 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 no. Ro- like oh, regular mac and cheese, bro. Yo, so I bought the kid mac and cheese. Right, because like he's like, oh, I like mac and cheese, and I'm like, why would you order mac and cheese in a in a fucking chicken sandwich place? But anyway, you just do it, and I took a bite, and I was like, this is I've been fooled. Like I've like who has done this to me? <laughs> who who is someone back there? Someone's someone is who who is doing this? And I thought like it was just the first time, bro. I've done it now multiple times, and every time it hits, I don't understand it. So whatever you're doing. Keep doing it, cause that shit is. <sighs> Try it, boys. Just it's two bucks. It's not even a lot of money. It's in, in this economy. I'm gonna say. Well, and that's the note we'll end on. <laughs> My co-side. It's been the National Meat Treasure. Remember, we release episodes on Thursday. Subscribe, like, and hit that bell for notifications. Don't forget that we release episodes on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and everywhere you can listen to podcasts. Please rate. A five star on that. Help us out. Get us back up there. We're starting to see more traction again. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, and, and they, them, uh, they ussy, uh, fish ussy. Uh, we're on brand. <laughs> uh, thank you for listening. We really do appreciate. Keep engaging. Give us ideas for impressions. I think, uh, uh, by, by next week, we should really have a good idea. Uh, cause it's going to happen. It's going to happen. That's it. It's set. And yes, follow the Discord link in bio yes. on our Instagram at the, at National Meat Treasure on Instagram and at National Meat Treasure on TikTok and at NMT Pod on Facebook. Like I said, join that Insta, join that, uh, join it all, like it all, subscribe it all. Um, like I said, get on that Discord. We really want to talk to you guys. Tell us your weird stories of the week. I ask us advice. Uh, steer, you're in control of this podcast, really. Steer it in whatever steer fucking it. way you want. And there's, yeah. there's what do you want to hear? Amount of you yeah, there's a there's a decent amount of you guys listening. Uh, I saw the download numbers this week, and I was a uh, pretty impressed. Uh, so yeah, do that. Follow me at thin.rule.lips on TikTok and Instagram. Uh, one of my TikToks is blowing up, and it's I really have to you know just just face the facts that nobody cares about my thoughts on the internet and this, this just wants me to be hot and shut up because whenever I'm hot and shut up, that's when the views go up. So I'll be the bimbo you want me to be. <laughs> the himbo. The himbo. Yes, yes, He's himbo. Him. He's him- Himothy. Himothy. Uh, <laughs> Timothy Chalamet. Uh, <laughs> and that's ASMR. ASMR. Joe. On TikTok and Instagram. You know how we do. Wow. <laughs> Very simple today. Very simple today. It's been the National Meat Treasure. Remember, we love you. Good night. Good night. No, good morning. Definitely good morning at this point. Crazy, never lost it. Now I pick her up in the Mercedes and I'm frosted. 23 and all we took the lead. Watch me talk shit. Everybody see me on my top dog shit. They were saying I was going crazy, never lost it.